All I ever wanted to do was be a professional footballer. Um, but after uh, knocking on the door for year after year, uh, things weren't really working out for me. I, I gave up the football, uh, had a little identity crisis for a while, um, and then I turned to, uh, to mixed martial arts. And I just something I wanted to do, uh, just because I, I was always a fan and I was interested in it, never something that I would have thought uh, would have been a, a professional outlet. Um, but it just came naturally. Uh, and from day one, I was picking things up quickly. Uh, I was loving it, and uh, you know, I started tapping guys out. I started, you know, sparring, and and I was addicted. And uh, I, from then on, I knew I knew I wanted to be what I wanted. I wanted to be a professional mixed martial arts fighter. As far as the transition between football and fighting, it, it, it's a tricky one because uh, I think with any sport, you have that athleticism. Uh, you know, you've got the discipline and the routine. I think that's one of the things which translates best of all. Um, but uh, the, I think my ground game, the reason that developed uh, quickest of all, uh, all the segments of MMA was simply because LFF is such a prestigious uh, jiu-jitsu gym. So I was able to spar with the very best guys, um, incredible black belts here, uh, always, uh, always someone there to kick your ass, you know, and that's what makes you better. So I certainly uh, owe my good ground game to these guys that beat me up every day. As far as what brought me to LFF, um, it was chance really. Uh, uh, a friend of mine recommended me to the gym. Uh, I, I went there um, just mainly because I started wanting to train full time. And they had such a great timetable as far as through the day and night, uh, just training constantly. Um, but when I got there, it was nothing like I expected. It had a, a very a rugged, uh, Allure, you know, just a bunch of dangerous-looking Brazilians. Uh, uh, I loved it, man. You know, I felt, I felt right at home. I wasn't. I'm not someone that could enjoy a training environment, uh, which is too cozy. And so these guys, uh, they were able to uh, take me from knowing nothing to being a professional fighter. Uh, I've been uh, blessed to have a better fighter and then a better fighter, and I've had good victories over these guys. Um, and now I'm very blessed to have. Uh, uh, a fight like Andre Winner, uh, which is, yeah, of course, it's a huge opportunity. He's uh, certainly a worthy opponent. He uh, wouldn't take a rocket scientist to figure out. He's very strong standing up, uh, very experienced. You know, he's had a good few, I think a two-year spell in the UFC. Um, so he poses a great threat. Um, but saying that, he's very high profile. He's a great scalp to take. So I, I see this as a big opportunity for me, for uh, myself to be able to enter onto the world stage and show people what I can do against a world-class guy. I think that if I'm able to mix things up, keep Andre guessing, um, I'm not just going to go in there and play a jiu-jitsu game with him. I'm going to try and be a full MMA fighter and put together a game plan uh, which is unpredictable and which will win me the fight and hopefully finish the fight. I'm going to bring the fight to Andre. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to uh, worry too much about his stand-up or his ground or any particular aspect. I'm going to put the fight on him, and I'm going to worry about what I'm going to do, not what he's going to do. Um, this isn't something that, uh, this isn't like, uh, I'm not going to just jump in there and be like, oh, great, let's have a fight with Andre Winner. That's good, you know, it's Andre, what could he do? I'm not here to compete. I'm here to win the fight. And. Uh, Come the 22nd, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to beat up Andre Winner, and I'm going to win the fight.